Hey there, Andy here. Welcome back to VR Man Cave. I've noticed that you guys really love best games content, so in this video it's back to basics. Because we're gonna take a look at what I believe are 10 of the best multiplayer games that you can play on your Quest 2 with your friends or others online. So let's go! Virtual reality is amazing and I'm sure it's no surprise to anyone that I'm saying that because at the end of the day I did start this channel for a reason. But as fun as story based games are, there's just something about being able to interact with others online in a virtual environment that brings things to a whole new level. And if you have a bunch of good friends to play with then that's even better because it makes these games a must have for you and your squad. If you're like me and maybe don't have any friends with VR headsets to play with then you might want to consider joining my newly released discord server. And this way we'll at least always have each other to play with. The link is in the description below and now enough chit chat, let's get started with the first game on this list. Arizona Sunshine if the zombie apocalypse were to actually come, then what better way to survive it than gathering your most trusted buddies and using an entire arsenal of weapons to survive it? Well, none of us need that, especially after what a year 2020 was. But thankfully, you can grab your friends and experience Arizona Sunshine in glorious multiplayer and take out hordes of zombies like some sort of undead John Wick. This one is super fun and while it is a bit pricey compared to other options on this list, the developers continue to release new content so your squad is unlikely to get bored too soon. You can play the horde modes with up to 3 other friends or just go through the campaign in co-op mode with your best bud. And if you have a quest 2, you'll be happy to hear that the game comes with enhanced textures and resolution. Have fun splattering zombie brains, you and your friends are humanity's last chance. Orbis VR Reborn Designed specifically for room-scale VR, this MMORPG features a huge open world, over 100 plus hours of content with quests, raids, trading and so much more. Go on adventures with your friends and take on group dungeons or simply chill back and do some fishing or crafting, it's your choice. The game isn't anything special from a graphics standpoint, but having such a huge world to explore on a standalone device such as the quest is honestly amazing. And even if you don't already have friends willing to play this MMO with you, then don't worry because the developers have thought of that too and have a fantastic community and in-game features that make it super easy to meet other people such as voice chat. In typical MMO fashion there are classes, different character customizations and lots of NPCs, monsters, events and activities. I could easily make a 2 hour video just on this game because it has so much to cover, but I'll let you and your friends immerse yourselves in discovering the game world and its secrets. 11 Table Tennis If you're looking for a more casual multiplayer title, then this might be the right choice after a long day. Well, unless you're crazy competitive, in which case this is still a fantastic title. Just remember that the touch controllers should not be thrown at your opponents if you miss a shot, cause you'll just end up breaking something around your house. This table tennis game features excellent physics and a number of different environments and is super fun to play against friends or just random online opponents. It features your own Oculus avatar with full voice and gesture support, but please try to keep things civilized and be nice whether you win or lose. Solaris Off-World Combat This one is pretty intense, hence the comfort level listed on the Oculus Store. So if you're a total newbie to VR, maybe wait a few more weeks before getting it. It's a super fast paced multiplayer shooter that features 4v4 matches where you'll need to run, sprint and slide across arenas to pick up awesome weapons and items and take out the enemy team. Remember to coordinate with your team to get the best angle and win the matches. The developers are constantly adding free extra content so if you're into this type of game, you'll keep getting new weapons, maps and cosmetic items in the future. Which makes it a great title if you're concerned about getting your money's worth. Dash Dash World Maybe I'm just a bit nostalgic for Mario Kart. But this is one of the most fun games I've played on the Quest 2 so far. You'll be able to battle it out with either strangers or your friends and drive, drift and shoot your way through wacky tracks as you strive to be the first one to cross the finish line. The multiplayer mode can host up to 8 players at a time and if you just want to practice or simply play on your own, the career mode also has over 200 missions and tons of unlockables so you'll never run out of things to do. Deemed as being the Mario Kart of VR, 
It of course comes with lots of weapons, traps and items that can be used during the races. And I've got to say that they've pretty much nailed the control scheme because you have a ton of options from a fully immersive driving mode where you'll actually grab onto the steering wheel to more casual modes where you will use the grip button to accelerate, the trigger to drift and the analog stick to steer while using your other hand to grab and shoot weapons, power-ups and much much more. It's super fun and is also enhanced for the Quest 2. So if you and your friends got a VR headset recently, I would consider this a must buy. Hey, just a quick note before we move on to the next titles. I was looking through my YouTube analytics and found something super weird. Over 95% of you guys are not subscribed yet, so if you're within that percentage and are enjoying the content, give that subscribe button some love. It only takes a second and you can always leave if I start putting out bad content. But I won't, so let's go on this journey together. What do you say? Did you do it? Alright, let's move on to number 6. Onward. While it may seem like it if you just watched the trailer, this is not a VR version of Counter-Strike or Call of Duty. Onward has built a strong reputation for itself since 4 years ago when it first launched on Steam VR. The developer has focused on making this game realistic, and rather than it being a fast-paced respawn-based shooter, it focuses on tactical cooperation with your friends in order to survive the 5v5 battles. The weapons handling and physics are designed to be realistic and feel really nice and intuitive. It has a ton of great mechanics such as needing to physically pull out your tablet to see the map instead of showing everything on an on-screen HUD. And even though it's a slower paced shooter compared to other titles, it really feels super intense at times. It of course offers multiple game modes and for me is hands down one of the best online shooters on the Quest platform. So if games like Pavlov Shack are not quite your cup of tea, you need to try this one. Rec Room if you haven't heard of it before, Rec Room is an online multiplayer game in which you can not only meet up with friends and just hang out, but also play tons of fun mini games created by either the developers or the community. And yes, you can get together with your friends and let your imagination run wild by building objects, worlds or mini games too. A few examples are paintball, laser tag and even a battle royale mode and a pirate inspired mode named Isle of Skulls. But these last two are only available for the Quest 2 and not the older Quest 1. Population 1 I was a bit late to the party on this one and didn't get it straight on launch day, but boy was I wrong not to. To me, this is pretty much the staple of Battle Royale VR games on the Quest platform. And it's also cross-buy, so you'll get both the Quest and PC versions for one single price. Which is always a big plus if you want to enjoy the enhanced graphics on PC, although I personally find myself going for the standalone version more often, due to the simplicity of just picking it up and playing a few matches. The mechanics are just as fun as they look in the trailer, and extending your arms in order to smoothly glide across the map is just super satisfying. The developers have basically put a very interesting spin on a sort of VR Fortnite, with the players being able to not only grab loot and various weapons but also climb any building or structure in the game, or to build their own to gain the upper hand on the other teams. It's really fun and has quickly become a must-have title for the Quest 2 in my humble opinion. I've been enjoying the hell out of it and I think you and your friends would too. Cookout Whether running a restaurant with your friends has been on your goals list or not, this extremely well-developed title will have you shouting at each other to get the orders right for your very unusual customers. You'll need to slice bread, chop onions and make weird ingredient combinations to serve your eager guests the sandwiches they crave, as well as wash the dishes fast enough to get them ready for the next order. As you progress through the game, things will naturally get more complicated, with new mechanics such as grilling being unlocked and your fairy tale customers will start asking for more complicated dishes. It sounds Sounds simple, but it can get really hectic and as a 4 player online game based on cooperation, it's essential that you work together or you'll be out of business faster than you can say Gordon Ramsay. Echo VR Don't get me wrong, I really like all of the games we've discussed so far, 
But this one for me is a top 3 quest game across all genres, not just multiplayer titles. I could easily play this Zero Gravity Ultimate Frisbee title for hours and hours, and it's so immersive and intense that I've ended up ignoring my guardian system and accidentally punching walls or my desk more times than I care to admit. Because in the heat of the battle, I just turn around and smack opponents in the head to stun them without thinking twice. This is by far one of the most polished titles I've seen on the quest to date. And the fact that it's completely free still boggles my mind whenever I think about it. I have to mention that if you're a complete beginner, you'll need to take it really slow and go through the tutorial multiple times to get used to the motion. Because at first it made me queasy like no other game, but I loved it so much that I kept coming back to it until my brain finally got used to it and let me have the fun I deserve without any nasty feelings. This is by no means an exhaustive list and there are other titles worth considering. These are just my top 10 favorites, so if you want me to do a part 2, let me know in the comments down below and I'll put it on my to-do list. I hope to see you on the Discord server so that we can play some of these games together, but in the meantime you can click either here or here to choose what to watch next. Thanks for watching, stay well and enjoy VR. Cheers!